Yeah, there have been mass firings, the president said. But when you see reports of mass firings of law-abiding American citizens, Joe Biden told us, what you're really seeing is progress. You should celebrate. Think about that. No American president has ever made a statement like that, cheering the firing of law-abiding Americans in the multitudes. But Joe Biden did. He didn't even pause. He says things like that regularly. Now, that's fine if you're on Joe Biden's side, apparently. But what if Joe Biden was talking about you? What if he was talking about your livelihood, your career, the future of your family? How would you feel? We should consider that because these are Americans he's talking about. And as we do consider that, think about what happened to air travel in America over the weekend. Southwest Airlines, you may have read this, one of our biggest carriers, all but shut down on Saturday and Sunday. The airline canceled thousands of flights. It threw the nation's famously efficient system of air travel into total chaos. It stranded countless travelers in airports. Again, you saw it on the news. The question is, how did this happen? Well, the official explanation came right away. It was bad weather on the eastern seaboard. There were thunderstorms. There were also unspecified issues with air traffic control. And all of that together forced Southwest Airlines, alone among airlines, to cancel its flights. That's what the company, Southwest Airlines, claimed. They claimed that in a statement to us today, a long statement. It's what many media outlets have repeated uncritically for the past two days. And yet we can tell you it is untrue. All of that is a lie. It's not what happened. We've spoken to several people with direct knowledge of what actually did happen. We can tell you that the shutdown of Southwest Airlines over the weekend was a direct consequence. It was a reaction to Joe Biden's vaccine mandates. <clears throat> it began last week when Gary Kelly, who's the CEO of Southwest, sent an internal memo to his employees declaring that per Joe Biden's directive, any Southwest employee who was not fully vaccinated by the 8th of December will be fired canned, done, right before Christmas. Now, this would include not simply pilots at Southwest and flight attendants, of course, but ramp workers, mechanics, dispatchers, schedulers, ticket agents, people from the top to the very bottom, many thousands of people. Now, some unknown but apparently large number of these people have still not been vaccinated. Why is that? Well, many of them have already recovered from COVID. They have antibodies that offer them greater protection than any vaccine ever could. That's the science. So they don't want the vaccine. Others have sincere religious objections. They object to the use of aborted fetal tissue in the development of pharmaceuticals. So they don't want it. They believe it violates their faith. Still others have friends or coworkers or relatives who have suffered severe side effects from the vaccine and therefore they are afraid to take it. That makes sense. Don't make fun of them. That's real. And yet others are taking a stand purely on principle. They believe that in a free country, politicians should never be allowed to force citizens to submit to medical treatment they don't want. These are Americans who grew up in a country where that fact was taken for granted. Everybody assumed it, and they want to preserve that country for their children. That's their motive. But whatever their various reasons, the unvaccinated employees of Southwest Airlines, the many of them, are decent, high-functioning Americans. And they have watched as their own government has dismissed them out of hand as criminals for reasons that don't even make sense. Consider the argument they're hearing from Joe Biden. You must get the shot for the sake of people who've already gotten the shot because the shots don't work well enough to protect the people who've already gotten them. That's what Joe Biden and the entire American health establishment is telling them. So imagine making that argument to an airline pilot, someone whose entire job is based on logic. It is utterly bewildering to them because it doesn't make sense. It's just too unreasonable. Quote, I've flown military jets in three different war zones, one pilot told us this weekend. I have never lost sleep like this. The stress is beyond belief. It's dangerous. People are melting. So this weekend, in protest, a large number of Southwest pilots called out sick, and they effectively shut down their airline. Now, many of them, you should know, admire the company they work for. They love Southwest Airlines, but they felt they had no choice but to do this. Nobody was standing up for them. Not the United States Congress, which, by the way, has exempted itself from vaccine mandates. Not even their labor union, which exists and is paid to defend them. But they're not. So in desperation, the pilots committed the most basic act of nonviolent civil disobedience, something we used to celebrate in this country. They stayed home. Now, at the same moment they decided to do this, a large group of air traffic controllers apparently reached the very same conclusion. An estimated 6,000 federal air traffic controllers have not yet received the Biden-mandated shot. That's nearly half of all air traffic controllers in this country. 
And they all, as federal employees, have until next month to submit or they will be fired. And when they are fired, our air traffic control system, which is already dangerously short-staffed, ask anyone who works in it, will stop. It will seize completely just in time for the holidays. Now, once again, the controllers union has been no help to them. And once again, the media have aligned with the Biden White House to vilify them, not as people who are being persecuted as a matter of conscience, but as criminals. So on Saturday, apparently, they took action. The air traffic control headquarters in Jacksonville, Florida, known to all pilots as Jacksonville Center, shut down. This never happens. It didn't even happen when there was a fire at a Chicago air traffic control center. They managed to keep air traffic control going. But this weekend, Jacksonville Center shut down because there was simply no one to man it. There was no one there. The effects of this were profound and they were immediate. Jacksonville Center controls the airspace in this country from Orlando to Raleigh, North Carolina, as well as far out over the Atlantic Ocean. That's one of the most crowded air routes in the world. Air traffic controllers in Atlanta watched as planes headed for South Florida rerouted west and wound up over the Mississippi River. That would be the world's longest detour. And for a moment, in the chaos, it became clear that Joe Biden is not the only person in this country who has power.